Hi everyone, Nathan Stein with Pix4D. Today I'm going to show you and talk to you more about how you can bring your own drone to Pix4D fields to map your agriculture field. I have several examples of different types of drones here and sensors and I'll talk about each one and kind of their strengths and what you might use them for. So on the outside edge here you see two examples of fixed wing drones, they're the two wing drones. Those two aircraft are very good at land, at uh, taking pictures of large fields and large acres, even in high wind circumstances. They're quite efficient. In fact, this is 175 acres of soybeans here, and it'd take about one battery to complete that. And I can land them into the canopy, or on the grass, or on a road, depending on where I'm at. The other type we have here is a quad rotor. These quad rotors, I have three of them here. They're very good at capturing data, you know, still data, taking videos, taking shots very close up, and hovering and taking those shots. They're also very good at landing in very tight locations. So on, in, a, in a logging path or in an orchard, sometimes a lot of people like them for those reasons. And the last aircraft I have here, third type, is a hybrid, a VTOL. This one has a quad rotor, as you can see, but it's also fixed wing. So what this aircraft can do is it can take off from a tight location transition to fixed wing aircraft and then it'll also transform back and land. This works very good for just about any circumstance and there's a multitude of different aircraft like those as well. Now each one of these has different kinds of sensors available. I'll talk through those really quickly. This one here has an RGB sensor. It's 20 megapixel and when I say RGB I mean red, green, blue. It refers to the fact that it, you see red, green, blue photos just like you would a video or a satellite imagery. Um, it can be used for making like a very index as well in our software and is very helpful for many things but it really works good for high resolution photos such as you know small plants, small pixels and emerging plants. Um, so if you want to do a stand count or if you want to do some sort of terrain analysis uh, this RGB photo or camera is pretty good for that. Uh, another one is the modified camera. It's, it's like a regular camera, like an RGB, but they've removed a filter in it so that it can see near-infrared light. This is what they would refer to as maybe a uh, near-infrared or an NDVI camera, an NDRE camera. Um, another camera that's here is the, is the uh, multispectral sensors that we have. Now they can have you know, two lenses, four lenses, five lenses, six lenses. It depends on what they carry for different bands. This one here you can see has uh, six lenses right here. These cameras are really good for seeing, uh, you know, very specific wavelengths of light and do many different types of index calculations, such as NDVI, NDRE, MCARI, and so on and so on. So these different types of drones come with calibration panels. These calibration panels um, come in varying shapes and sizes. I give three examples right here that you can see. All three of these are able to be brought into PIX4D fields automatically um, by their co the codes and QR codes that they have there. Um, and these drones also have what are called irradiance sensors, sunshine sensors, or DLS sensors, uh, dynamic light sensors. That means they're also taking the sunshine in as well as the calibration target for a calibrated uh, photo. This allows for day-to-day, week-to-week calibration. You can do change detection and other things like that. I have two with RTK antennas. Those two have very precise location, geolocation. They can have a base station or connect to some sort of a base network out there. Um, this will give you very precise location of your pixels, of, your, of all the pixels in all your field, so that you can either do targeted applications or do some sort of plot trial analysis um, without having to adjust the photo's location. So as you can see, there's a lot of different types of vehicles, a lot of different types of sensors, and all of these here that I show are good examples of what we can bring into PIX4D fields. You can check on our knowledge base. Uh, please do and research and see if we, if we do take um, your camera or specific camera, and if we don't or you have a question, reach out to our support personnel. Finally, I ask that you do check out our and download our free trial by going to pix4d.com and click try it for free. You'll get a 15 day free trial that you can use on your acres uh, using your drone and uh, test it out for yourself. That's all I have for this. Thank you very much.